So let's explain boiling point acceleration. So as you can see, you know, you've already seen this this uh, this section vapor pressure. When it gets to like here, here's a vapor pollution, uh, uh, here's a vapor pressure of a solution, here's a vapor pressure of a pure solvent. You know, they have different um, stages where they become solid or liquid. And here, for example, we're going to look at the pressure of solution. So solvent uh, pressure boiling point is over here so it'll become boil it become a gas and solution pressure uh, boiling point is over here so this change here this temperature delta TB is going to be very useful in the boiling point uh, elevation formula for example here it is too a uh, liquid solute plus water vapor as you can see this portion here is where the boiling point increases. We're doing the same thing over here. Now, how do you find the boiling point? Boiling point is equal to TB. Again, this one here, what I've just shown you. So you take TB, multiply it by the KB, which is usually given plus MB. Another thing is Q, uh, KB, um, you can, you, you can, you know, find out the mass of this uh, boiling point solution using this formula which is approximately uh, not really that important. Now here you have the freezing point. So what ha what's happening in the freezing point? Well this is liquid it's going into a solid crystal phase so it's freezing condensation is occurring so it goes from a gas goes condensation goes to a liquid and then freezes into a solid and so on and so on. So let's explain this theoretically. So as you can see here, here's a solid, solid is here, and here is the solution in a liquid form. So it starts to freeze at this point, you can tell. And you can also see that it starts to also freeze at this point. So here is the freezing point depression. You know, here's the solid goes into its freezing point depression. Now keep in mind that um, potential changes, the S, the entropy of vapor is greater than the entropy of liquid, which is greater than the entropy of solid. So using this form, using this kind of a theoretical diagram, you can find the chemical potential energy over the temperature and just find out depressions and then use this formula to find the freezing point.